So a lot of people have been asking me what is a crowded bus. So this was a very classic example which happened in the month of January expiry uh, uh, of 2023. And I thought it is a good idea to explain uh, in a short video what I mean by a crowded bus and uh, what happens, uh, what are the various scenarios which you have to look at uh, when you look at a crowded bus. So a crowded bus is nothing but where a stock is looking very bullish, but at a certain level uh, on the uh, stock price, there is a huge amount of open interest on either side. If it is a crowded bus in the call, it is on the call side or sometimes if the stock is bearish, it is on the put side. And it is not just a high, huge open interest. We talk about the difference between the open interest of the call and the put or in other words, we talk about the put call ratio at that strike price. So the classic example which happened in January was the Tata Steel. Tata Steel, if you look at the chart, uh, right from the beginning of January expiry was very bullish. In fact, this is a bullish chart all the way from uh, starting of uh, January from about 100, 103 it went all the way to first it went to 120 which was on 2nd January. And what happened on 2nd January, I someone asked me about uh, Tata Steel and this is what I saw. Went to 120. At that time, look at the green line is the open interest of the 120 call and the red line is the open interest of the 120 put. Look at the difference. One is about 2.8 lakhs, uh, sorry, 28 lakhs and the other one is not even 85 lakhs. So this ratio, if you look at the put call ratio, it is not even 0.2 and that is extremely bearish. Now, when I say extremely bearish, that does not, in fact, that is what people think that it is bearish. That means the uh, uh, stock will crash. That is not the case uh, and I will explain why that is not the case. But what it means is it is not going to cross 120 easily. That is because the resistance of call writers is huge and that is the open interest there. Now what happens next? So there we look at the chart of the 120 call. So this call went from about uh, 2 to over here on 2nd January which was about 4. And that's all. Now look at the open interest. This was constant at the higher levels and it did not change. And then the stock came down again corrected a bit, it came down to about 115 or so levels and when it came to 115, what happened? So let's have a look at the multiple open interest at 115. So this is the put and call OI at 115 strike price and that was definitely not bearish. So if you see here, the put was higher than the call. At 120, it was exactly the opposite and the green was way, way ahead of the uh, higher than the put OI. Here, the call open interest is going down, which means covering is happening. At the same time, the put is much higher. So, any any time when you see the put open interest at a specific strike price above 1.1, 1.2, that means that level is going to act as a support, which in this case was 115. So, if the bus is crowded at 120, that doesn't mean the stock is going to crash. That is a misunderstanding a lot of people have. But it went from one, came down from 120 to 115. But at 115, this was a scenario where the put writers were very strong and they kept going up. And if you look at the chart once again, so when Tata Steel uh, went from 100, 105 to 120, look at the 120, the chart of the 120 call. That was only about one, one and a half over here uh, when the expiry started. It went all the way to about uh, four, five. And that is where the 120 call open interest, look at the call open, this is still rising. And that is where the crowded bus was spotted because 120 call OI was uh, almost 5 times that of 120 put and it then started coming down. So that is when the stock corrected from 120 to 115 and at 115 the put writer was strong. So the stock stabilized and then what happened to the multiple open interest here again. So here the 120 call writer started covering when Tata Steel took support at 115 and started rising again. So 120 call writers started covering, but the put writers were not showing enough strength, which means they didn't have the confidence that Tata Steel will go and cross and sustain well above 120. We are not talking about one or two rupees here and there. We are talking about a big rise above 120. And the call writers, though they covered, uh, in, in other words, book profit, the put writers was not confident because this red line never went above the green line in the case of Tata Steel. And again, if you look at the chart of the 120 call, from the correction, it came all the way down to about 1.7, 1.8, went back to this level of 4 or 5. So it did not cross that high. So that was a good hint that the, though the covering is happening, 
and though the put writers are not showing strength, the call is not crossing this previous high and after that it closed again. In fact, Tata Steel has expired at 121. So, it remained near at 120. So, the idea is a crowded bus does not mean that the stock will crash. A crowded bus only means that sustaining and rising fast above that level, level of uh, the crowded bus which is in this case 120 is going to be difficult and that is exactly what Tata Steel did. It was sideways between uh, initially 120 then 115 and I think it went to 123, 24 and never this call never crossed the high. So, this is the case of a crowded bus. So, of course, there are cases where the stock crashes as well. But then uh, like in this case, the support was from 115 put writers. We will see if uh, we get a case uh, sometime later in the future where that put writers also do not give the support in which case the stock will come down. Of course, for that we need a bearish market. Right now, though Nifty has come down, Tata still is still on the chart. It is still not weak yet. So, this is how a crowded bus looks like. Let us see if we get some other examples in the future. Thank you.